Travis, you're here late. Yeah, Gates is gonna stop by after his play rehearsal tonight. It's a lot shorter for him driving-wise if he just meets me here. How much longer is he gonna be? Oh, about 30 minutes. Well, I'd love to see him, but I'm really tired. I think I'm gonna head on home. You just tell him I said hello. I will. Why are you here so late? Oh, I've been rewiring my lights out there. Um, they're coming together. Just uh, trying to get it done before the weekend. Why didn't you tell me? I could have helped you. You've got enough to do with scripts and props and learning your lines and all that stuff. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't stay too late. Okay, man. Gates? What do you say, Trav? Hey, man, how's it going? Going good. How's the play rehearsal going? Well, it's going okay. I mean, the show's this weekend. Kids are doing pretty well. We got a dress rehearsal tomorrow night, so it'll give me an idea of where we are. So, how's everything going here? Oh, pretty good. Attendance is back to normal. Everyone's working hard. Mr. Wheeler still has not found anyone to replace you yet. Well, I, uh, I, I know why. Oh, let me guess. You are irreplaceable. <laughs> I didn't say it. You did, so I can, uh, remain humble. Okay, so I guess I walked into that one. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Anything new going on? Actually, there is. Have a seat, my friend. Have a seat. Go on. Have a seat. Is, um, something wrong? No, other than I wished you still worked here, but no, nothing is wrong. Well, thanks, buddy. But oh, why am I sitting down? Oh, well, Rudy left a little bit before you got here, and he said to say hello. Okay, so, hello, Rudy. But for that, I had to sit down? No, I have some news I want to lay on you. Some news that no one else knows about. Not a single person in this world knows about it except for the Lord himself. Well, of course he knows. He knows everything before we know it. Yeah. Well, tomorrow night, I'm going to take Marcy out for a little dinner, and then I'm going to... Ask her to marry you. Will you let me finish? Sorry. Tomorrow night, I'm taking Marcy out to a little dinner, and then I'm going to... ask her to marry me. That's great, man. I am so happy for you. You think she'll say yes? Well, I hope so. If I don't, my whole life will be a complete disaster. That's great, buddy. Well, if she does say yes, it's gonna be bad news for all those women out there. Because I will be off limits across this land. You know, that's true. You know, I bet there'll be depression among the women of this country when they find out that Travis Connors is marrying someone else other than them. Well, what can I say? I'm a very dedicated man. And I will be, Lord helping. A very committed husband to the one called Marcy. I'm happy for you, man. So, can I get up now? Oh, sure, yeah. Well, congratulations, man. Well, thank you. But you know, she hasn't said yes yet. But I've got the utmost confidence that she will. You just let me know when it becomes officially official. Oh, I will. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Travis. Hey, Travis. You both are here bright and early this morning. Well, it's a little more difficult writing for the show when there's only four people in it. Which means we have to work harder. And longer hours. Yeah, what she said. Well, I'm happy to say that I was able to write three new scenes last night. Three? Yes, ma'am. It's really good, Travis. Thank you. I stayed here late. In fact, Gates came by. Really? How's he doing? Uh, he's doing fine. He's just real busy because he has a play coming up this weekend. So, you know, he works all day and then he has rehearsal every night and on weekends. Man, I really miss him. I haven't seen him since he left. Me either. Hey, maybe we can go check out his play. Ooh, I'd love to do that. Uh, it's on a Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, guess we won't go and see a show. All right. There you go, my friend. A scene for you, Travis. Whoa, that's a lot of cross outs. What can I say? It's my style. Sorry you don't have a laptop. Well, wouldn't help me if I had one anyway. How come? I can't type. What? Never learned. The best I can do is hunt and peck. <laughs> You've never taken a typing class in high school? Nope. Now, I find that hard to believe. We'll believe it, because it's true. Well, 
I was going to buy you a laptop for your birthday, but now I'll have to take it back. <laughs> hey, I just thought about something. I mean, I know we're not going to be able to see one of Gates' shows, but maybe we could catch a dress rehearsal instead. That's a great idea. Travis, could you check on that for us? I already know the first one is tonight. Well, that'd be great. I'd love to go. Me too. Yeah, I would like to go too. But I can't. If it was a Wednesday or Thursday, I could go with you guys. What do you have, a special date tonight, Travis? Well, let's just put it this way, ladies. Tonight is a very special date for me. Why's that? Because tonight is the night that I ask the miss to become the missus. What? Travis Connors, I cannot believe what I just heard you say. What? What you just said. What'd I just say? Are you really gonna ask Marcy to marry you tonight? That I am. Where'd this sudden courage come from? Normally whenever we talk about marriage, you get all quiet and shy. Has somebody been pressuring you? If you mean Marcy, no, not at all. So what made you decide to move forward like this? It was Gates, so you can blame him. Why do you say Gates? Well, after we thought the theater was gonna close, I started to look at my life. Then after Gates left, I realized how lonely I felt. But then it dawned on me that God brought Marcy back into my life so that I wouldn't have to be alone. Well, Genesis does say that it's not good for a man to be alone. Yes, it does. And so that's why I've been working so very hard on my big speech, because I'm going to pop the question tonight. So what are you gonna say? Lisa, that's kind of personal. But even if I were to tell you, I wouldn't want you ladies to start crying. Start crying? If I were to tell you ladies what I'm going to tell Marcy tonight, I might just hear a couple of more yeses. <laughs> well, Travis, this is some of the best news that I've heard in a long time, and I hope tonight just goes wonderfully for you. Yes, I wish you and Mrs. Connors all the very best. Thank you, ladies. Hey, Joanna. What's up? Oh, what's up? Oh, the ceiling, the sky, the opposite of down, that's what's up. You're in a good mood. Good mood? Oh, it's more than that. Oh? Yes, I thought I would come up here and tell you firsthand before you heard it from somewhere else and thought it might be some wild rumor. Wild rumor? Yes, because you never know how these things get started, but once they do, they just take off. But I want to make sure this one stays on the ground where it belongs. Well, you have my full attention and interest. Oh. So, do you know anything about tonight? No. Okay, so no one said anything to you yet? No. All right. Joanna, are you sitting down? Yes, you are. Tonight is the night that I'm going to say those four little words that almost every female wants to hear at least once in her life. Four little words. Yes, those four little words. I know about the three little words. Oh, you mean I love you? Yes, those are the three little words. Well, how about the four little words, will you marry me? <gasps> You're gonna ask Marcy to marry you? Not so loud, we don't want Marcy to hear yet. You're gonna ask Marcy to marry you? Yes, and I'm all excited about it. I mean, I told everybody else this morning, but I didn't want you to feel left out. Well, thank you for sharing this privileged information with me. Yes, Joanna. Travis Connors is taking himself off the market. I just hope the other ladies can deal with it. Well, it'll be tough, but they'll have to manage. That they will. Well, my friend, I just wanted to share with you what is hopefully good news. Well, thank you, and I hope everything goes great for you tonight. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Well, I'll see you. Bye. Marcy. <laughs> no, I was just working on a little set piece. How are you? What's wrong? What? Oh, come on, Marcy. Now, don't tell me that. <laughs> no, don't tell me that. Of all the nights, I can't believe they just did that. Wait, and you really have to be there? You sure? They can't get somebody else to go? Well, I know I was just looking forward to seeing you tonight since tonight's special and all, and what's so special about it? Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's just special, that's why. I mean, I've had my heart set on seeing you. I mean, do you know how difficult it is to work here every day and not see you? It's like torture. And you really have to go. 
You sure? Well, yeah, I'm disappointed, but... No, I'm not mad. I can never be mad at you. Yeah, yes. Okay, just... Just call me when you're done. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Hey, Travis. Hey. What's wrong? Two minutes ago, nothing. Now, everything. <laughs> what happened? Marcy just called and told me that she can't go to dinner with me tonight. She said her company has some media event she has to go to. For how long? Like until midnight. Oh, and tonight was the big night, right? Yeah. Well, just ask her to marry you tomorrow night. I can't. I've got to ask her tonight. Why? Because the ad's already in the paper. The what? The ad is in the paper. Okay, now you're not making any sense. All right, look, this is a long story, but when Marcy and I first started dating years ago, I always told her that if I ever asked her to marry me, that I was always going to put the announcement in the paper so the whole town would know. But I also told her that I'd put the announcement in the paper before I asked her as a prediction that she'd say yes. Do you understand? I think so. So to follow up on that long ago, I've already put the ad in the newspaper, so first thing in the morning it's gonna say that we're getting married. So you have to ask her to marry you tonight. And of course she's gonna remember that thing that you told her way back when. Oh yeah, she'll remember it. She'll laugh about it and it'll be very special. But for now, I've got this little problem I to solve. Uh, Travis, I'd say you got a pretty big problem to solve. You've got to ask this girl to marry you before the paper hits tomorrow. I know. And she gets the paper at our house every morning. It's going to be the first thing she's going to see when she wakes up. So I've got to ask her tonight. What did you do? Put it on the front page? <sighs> no. She likes to read the announcement section first. She's always been that way ever since I've known her. So that's going to be the first place she's going to look. <laughs> Boy, Travis, you sure do lead an exciting life. I should take some notes and maybe get me a wife, too. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I am out of here. And I don't mind telling you this is the first time in a long time that Rudy's gotten to go home on time. I finished rewiring the lights. Good for you, Rudy. They look great. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Just kidding, I don't know the first thing about those lights. Yeah, Rudy, you got wires and cords going every way, everywhere, every whatever up there. <laughs> You'll have to pardon these lovely ladies, Rudy. They don't know a work of art when they see it. Well, this artist is going home. And it's quitting time for actors, too. Travis, I hope things go even better than you planned tonight, my friend. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you very much. You look a little nervous. You okay? Me? Sure, fine. Perfect. I couldn't be better. Hey, Rudy, before you leave, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you get the morning newspaper? No, I don't. Uh, how about you, ladies? What? Do you get the morning paper? I don't. Mm, me either. Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just wondering. Oh, Chad's just a real comedian today. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, you should have been a comic instead of an actor. You know, I think there's an opening down at the comedy club. Why don't you go down there and apply for it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you, Rudy. Take care. See you, Rudy. Oh, well, I'm out of here. I'm going with you. I hope you ladies have a pleasant evening. Thank you. And Travis, you can tell us all about it in the morning. Yep, we'll bring our tissues. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. See ya. So what are you gonna do now, Travis? Uh, I'm just gonna go get a bite to eat and then come back here. I mean, Gates is coming by. Doesn't he have rehearsal tonight? Yeah, but he's gonna come by after that. Okay, well, good luck tonight. And if there's anything that I can do for you, I really don't think that there is, <laughs> you just let me know. All right, see you, man. See ya. Travissimo! I'm here. What do you say, my man? Hey, man. How'd rehearsal go? Well, it went well. Actually, better than I thought it would. The kids remembered all their lines, the scene changes went fast, and overall, for a first-time dress rehearsal, I'd say we're in pretty good shape. Well, that's good. At least someone's in good shape. 
Oh, she's still at that thingy. Yeah, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be before she's done, but she said she'd call me when it's over. Of all nights. <sighs> you know, this kind of thing could only happen to you, my friend. <laughs> and what's so funny? <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. Usually when you're gonna ask a woman to marry you, it's supposed to be a special time, a romantic time. But for you, it's become stress to the max. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Well, you want me to give you my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Well, after she calls, I'd go over there to see her, no matter how late she got home from that, that thingy. I just tell her it's very important that I talk to her. She'll understand. You think so? I know so. Marcy is a very understanding person. And if you tell her that something's important, she knows that it's important. And you go over there, go right up to the door, when she opens it, you just ask her to marry you. She'll melt like butter. <laughs> You think so? Absolutely. Well, I guess all I have to do now is wait for her to call. So, you got time to hang around? Well, I was gonna go home to the wife, but um, I already talked to her and told her about the situation, and she was very understanding. Plus, I wouldn't miss this drama for anything. It's her. Hey, Marcy. Yeah, that media thing took forever. Are you just now leaving? Oh, you're at home. Oh, you're, you're dead tired, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry that you're so dead tired. I, I was just hoping that maybe I could come by and maybe talk to you for a little bit because I have something that's really, really important. What? Oh, you're, you're too tired to, and you just want to go straight to bed. I, I'm just, look, but Marcy, it, uh, this is really, really, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm still at the theater. Yeah, and Gates came by and we've been talking a little, plus I've been working uh, look, you know what? I could come by and I could be there in no time. Yeah, because I can't wait. No, I, I can't tell you over the phone. I need to tell you in person. You're too tired. Can it wait until tomorrow? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. Okay, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a you have a good night's sleep. I love you too. Bye. I am dead. Why did you give in? Because she sounded like she was tired. <laughs> okay, what is so funny? Travis, I have seen you in hot water before, but this time it's boiling. I know. But she said she was tired. I can't go over there when she's like that. And remember, you said this was supposed to be a special occasion and romantic. Oh, I know. And listen, I've got some good news for you. If she says yes, and I believe she will, that means she really loves you. Well, thank you for the vote of confidence. And any girl that would accept a marriage proposal like the one you're about to do, got to be special. Okay, what am I going to do? I have no idea. This is your mess, not mine. Come on, Gates, you got to help me think of something. Go over there in the morning and ask her then. No, I can't. Why? Because she'll be getting up in the morning. She'll be getting ready for work. She won't have time to talk to me and let me propose to her. Okay, well, you're gonna have to go over there right now or call her back. I'll call her back. It went straight to voicemail. That means her phone is turned off. <laughs> Gates, this is not funny. <laughs> Travis, you can leave a message. No, I can't. She won't get it until the morning, and by then it'll be too late. This is unbelievable, man. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Pray. Get on your knees and pray, man. And don't get up until the Lord gives you an idea of how to get out of this. Look, Trav, it's late. I should have been home an hour ago. I, I know. Please tell Melissa I'm sorry I kept you here so long. Oh, I will, but you know what? 
I'm sure she's still up waiting to hear what happened. What am I gonna do? Knees, boy. Get on your knees. <laughs> Marcy, what's up? What? What? Yes. I love you too. So very, very much. And from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. What was that all about? Yeah. She said yes. Yes? Yes, she said yes. Yes to what? My proposal. <laughs> But you didn't propose. You know that media thing she went to tonight? Yeah. Well, guess who was there? Who? The guy that I scheduled the ad with in the newspaper. After he was introduced to her, he opened up his little, little big fat mouth and blabbed it all to her. So she knew about it the whole time? Yes. <laughs> and that's probably why she didn't call you after the meeting and wait till she got home and was real tired. She strung you along a little. <laughs> a little? <laughs> Travis, you have got to be one of the most blessed men on the planet, man. And that woman is gonna be the perfect wife for you. Yes, she is. She just called to say, yes, I will marry you. Isn't that something? Well, praise God, man. And let me be the first to say congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what a night. Yeah, I'll say. Are you relieved? Oh, you know it. Are you happy? Oh, you know that too. Well, there's only one thing left to say then. What's that? My man Travis is getting married. <laughs>